Hello, this is Commander Schoolboy, and I'm here to talk about Face Track No IR 1.7 for Elite Dangerous. And uh, we're currently 1.05 Gamma, and there's about a week and a half left before release. So, uh, I was looking at the Oculus Rift, which I borrowed from work for a day, and um, it was great, apart from a pretty, a pretty powerful graphics card to uh, run it, and also it's 1080p on well split between each eye so I couldn't really read some of the text uh, but obviously the experience of that was awesome so I was looking at other um, ways of uh, head tracking that didn't, wasn't so GPU intensive so I came across um, the IR systems and um, they were about £160 for a decent um, uh, setup and then I found Face Track No IR, which is free, and all you need to do is click here to support the guys, or go into the website and uh, give them a donation. Uh, well worth, um, uh, well worth getting and donating to these guys. So first off, we have um, uh, the default ini file, and if we go into the settings, you will see the um, the input time of me turning my head. Uh, equals this sort of like um, dead zone ramp up period up to two seconds so it'll take two seconds for it to um, register my input and also it's uh, set up for stability rather than responsiveness uh, this is, is probably the main cause of lag that people might find from using this so uh, the way I've set this up is if we go Got two setups, got a mid dead zone and a low dead zone. So we go to mid dead zone, you'd see I've put the smoothness to five, and you will see there's a slight ramp up there, and then it basically that, that's just to stop any juddering in your head and it takes about a second to respond. And I've uh, made this into um a res uh, so it basically I load it so it's uh, more for responsiveness rather than stability. So the next thing we need to go into if you're setting this up yourself is to make sure you have uh, use track IR, hide free track. Um, this seems to work well for me. Uh, also, both of these settings dot uh, ini files I will upload onto my website, and there should be a link for that. And then um, if we go into curves here. You will see the the curves are set up to be um, about 75 uh, for the yaw, which is your left and right, and uh, I've made it 80 degrees um, looking straight up, and 25 degrees looking down, and there's also a bit of head roll as well. Okay, so if I start that, my webcam is a bit weird. Sometimes I need to save that, I also just pop back up later so uh, as you can see it's tracking my head motion uh, and there's a little dead zone area there um, also in the shortcuts this is very handy if you, especially for center and stop start I've basically punched them into a number pad so for instance now I'm going to look at center of Elite and say for instance it's here and that's center, that, that center. Now I'm looking back at myself in the cam on the screen. So recenter myself onto Elite Dangerous. Press zero. So now you'll see this head tracking. Right, so on the center, you'll see a sort of snap to. That's the dead zone. That is <coughs> this part of this mid-range dead zone so this qu is quite snappy uh, and also the reason why I've set it to 80 degrees this way and 25 degrees down is to so you can get the um, pop-up panels to come up so I can just snap my head here and snap my head this way that way this way and it will always bring the panels up so I can sort out my sidewinder let's see this guy right so this is obviously the tutorial so I'm going to try and blow chunks out of this guy and um, I will hopefully kill him 
Bear in mind, I've just got the standard pulse lasers that comes with the game. Lovely asteroid field. A little pitch up. Right, so it's quite far away. Let's close up the range. The good thing is about this is you can actually come underneath from someone and pull up so you get behind the six rather than uh, rather than now uh, coming in from the side. So now we accelerate a bit more. Also got my X fifty five Psytic joystick which is absolutely amazing. Right, okay, this guy's getting it now. now let's get a bit closer. So if they outrun you, you can actually do that and see where they go. Okay, where's he on the radar? So he should be above me now. There he is. Oh no, everyone. Well, if you come across me in game, please don't shoot me. Obviously, I'm not the best combat pilot out there. I've probably got about 25 kills to my name and most of that's with NPC, well actually all of that's with NPCs I don't think I've ever taken a pot shot at another commander right. <coughs> So you can see how useful this head tracking is, it's actually works pretty decently uh, I know he spun that way. I totally love this game. It just brings me all the way back to the 80s. Okay. Right, let's see. I mean, this is what Elite was meant to be in the 80s, but this is how I imagined it anyway. I'm sure it's still like this if I load it back up. Oh, I was actually trying to thrust into him and blow him up. So don't forget if uh, the tracking goes a bit haywire, uh, just make sure you um, press that reset button, recenter button. It's definitely very handy. like chunks of asteroids. Alright, let's get behind the six again. Yay! Objective complete! Okay, so... Okay. Oh yeah, if you press the um, off button, it will turn it off for a second, so you can uh, go back to... Let's just hit restart for now. Okay, now that we've restarted the game, I will go into a bit more detail about the two dot INI files that I've supplied. Uh, right, let me recenter this. Right, so... You will need to do a few tweaks with these files uh, when you've received them uh, and uh, loaded them up, uh, mainly to do with the curves. Um, if I go into Windows and Magnifier, which is a very handy thing to have, I will load that up. <coughs> so, centre my screen, we have, oh, right, so, um, if I 
If, if this was, you know, like a, a 40 inch monitor and this webcam was, I don't know, had a slightly less few, uh, smaller depth of uh, field of view, and, um, you know, I would have to look a little bit more to my left, so I am looking about 50% extra to my left, yeah, which is about there. So then I would need to set this to maybe like 20 degrees or 25 degrees. Uh, try and slide this bar to the right um, and don't adjust up and down because that's pretty much set for um, Elite's cockpit. So you just move the second knob across. So now, um, <coughs> if I recenter this, I would need to look this far yeah, to um, get the uh, the the maximum rotation to my left and about this far for the right which would be amazing if I had the screen this big but I don't I have to stick with my 24 inch screen and then you do the same for adjusting for the top and adjusting for the bottom right and um, let's go ok to that switch that back to normal size so um, yeah, so that's the only thing you really need to do to adjust it. Uh, you can mess around with a setting if you like, but um, it's just something I thought it might be handy to for someone to load rather than creating the curves for. Uh, and also the um, if I stop that and load up the low dead zone, start that up, and you know the the curve for this is <coughs> is less <coughs> of a ramp up period, so there's so there's less of a snap to that. Uh, so I've gone to game, uh, recenter that, and you will see from left to right. There's only a small snap in the mid zone. Uh, there we go. It's my webcam again with its DAF settings. Every time I turn that on and off, if I don't save this then it pops up. It's just this Logitech uh, Orbit cam that I've got. I don't think it does it with uh, any other cams. That I may do, I might not. Anyway, so <coughs> that's, uh, that's it for Elite. Oh yeah, one last thing. So, for instance, if you are here, actually I really do not like the low dead zone that some people might do. So, <coughs> recent to that. Uh, one other thing is when you're playing and you go, right, I'm going to have a quick drink. The, the cam kind of goes all over the place. Um, so you can't put anything in your face. I tried chewing gum. I'll mimic that. I don't know if people chew gums like that. Anyway, and if you turn the lights off, poof, it just has it just takes the brain fart because obviously it can't track my face in the dark. And bring that back. <coughs> well, anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. And if you like uh, what you see, press the like button, obviously. And um, Hopefully I will make some more videos uh, later on trading and um, flying and docking or anything I find useful. Uh, and thank you for watching.